Okay, I'm going in with my customized palette. Not really customized. This is actually a few items from the Jaclyn Hill palette that I put in a Z palette. Um, stupidly, kind of, because I did not use the correct magnets, so they don't stick in very well. But that's what I'm going to be using today. I'm really inspired by the orange and the blue. Um, and so I'm going to kind of make a look out of that. I want something really wearable. I want something kind of almost summery. I know that it's like January, but um, I hope, well, January right now, I hope I get this video up before January ends. Anyway, but I'm really feeling very, very summery. So I'm gonna start with my bronzer in my crease. I always start with this. I like to do this because it makes my eye shape, um, I get to kind of create the eye shape that I want. If you notice this eye, especially when I open my eyes, you can't really see my lid. Um, and this eye has a little bit of more shading in there. It allows for uh, me to kind of define my crease before I do anything else. Now my eyelids are really sticky right now, so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna grab my face powder and just kind of powder over them, making sure that we have a nice base to work with. Okay, so now that I did that, I'm going to do my best to show you these colors. I'm going to go in with this color right here. It's like a mustard tone brown on a big fluffy brush. You guys need to be in closer. So that's a really nice colored base. Now, I am going to try and do a color or um, really pull out that burnt orange. Oh my gosh, that color is literally it. This one right here, it looks much more orange on camera. It's definitely more of a burnt orange. That's exactly what I needed. Okay, so now, yeah, we have a super orange-based eye. It looks super harsh um, right now, but we will diffuse that. Now, I want the lid space to be really soft. I'm going to go in with my little Rebel Metal Palette from Estee Lauder, use the highlight shade, and tap that on the lid because I don't want that to be anything crazy. So I'm just gonna use what I will use to be highlighting later. Always going back in with that fluffy brush to diffuse. Now I'm going to use this pointed blender brush right into that mustard color that we used before. Put that on the lower lash line. I was gonna go on the lower lash line with that red, but I think this does it justice. Now I'm gonna take that same blender brush and I'm going to put it into the face powder. This allows me to diffuse the eye look a lot, make it a little bit less striking. I want it to blend a little bit more seamlessly. Now I'm really gonna pull this beautiful blue and use that around the, um, like on the lash line. I'm gonna use this palette that came in the Estee Lauder Blockbuster. Um, this is the Day palette. Wow, I love that. Oh my gosh, this is not showing up on camera. Like I want it to, but that's amazing. I just finished off with um, some of the Clarins Instant Light Lip Comfort Oil. I didn't want to add um, anything to the lips because I just want it to be all about the eyes. I love this look so much. I'm gonna add the little scarf 
Now you guys will have to tell me if this works or not. Oh my goodness, dropping things. Ascots are back. I've been seeing them everywhere, um, especially I think come spring. And I really, I bought this and I want to, it to work out so much, but like, feel, I don't, I don't know. You guys will have to tell me if this sucks or not. I feel like, oh dear, okay, that needs to be tucked in. I feel like this could go really Boy Scout-ish. Okay, what do you think? Ascot, no ascot, let me know. You know, not a fashion person, but I do love this eye look. I think it looks amazing. I think that the blues and the oranges just work together so well. This is something that I feel is very wearable as well. Or you can really tone it into more of an evening look by taking that navy shadow pressing it all over the lid where we put the highlight as well. Oh my gosh, I forgot to highlight. The highlight shade in this Rebel Metal palette is the best highlight I have ever used. I'm not joking. My mom asked me one day, she was like, what highlight are you wearing? I was like, oh my God, it's an eyeshadow from Estee. It's amazing. Me. Probably just put that all over my upper lip. What is that? Oh my gosh, that's just, that is the shine of my lip gloss. Definitely thought that was a spot. <laughs> that's funny. None of that on the nose thing. None of that highlighting the tip of the nose thing. Stop that. Everybody needs to stop that. I'm gonna put that out there in the world. Stop it. Doesn't look good in photos. You can't, I mean, you just can't photograph it. It makes your nose look larger. They're contouring, but then putting that on the tip of the nose so their nose looks giant. Don't do it. Bridge the nose, go for it. Stop doing the nose thing. Anyway, yes, okay, so now this look is complete. Didn't use blush, just went with bronzer because I think that this doesn't really need any blush. I don't want anything to take away from these eyes. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did. I really enjoyed this, um, making this look and I think I'm gonna go ahead and make a face chart for it as well so I can save it. Um, and yeah, if you enjoyed this, please give me a like. Um, and then subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my blog, um, all that stuff, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.